Welcome back to RumbleStrip.net and our continuing coverage of the 2009 North American International Auto Show. Today is day two of our coverage, which will be taking a look at some of the European manufacturers uh, who had displays at the show. Uh, a lot of things to cover, so it'll be a lot of... Uh, voiceover, not a lot of me in person, which I'm sure you'll all be grateful for. So let's uh, dive right into it, and we'll, uh, we'll start with Audi. Audi showed off their Sportback concept. This will be the A5 Sportback when it comes out uh, in production in a few months. It's going to be competing against the BMW X6, and it's a market segment I don't quite get and quite understand, but I guess if I don't get it, I don't need to. It does, of course, have the great uh, Audi interior, continues that tradition. The Audi A8 uh, showed off with the new V10 power plant, direct injection V10, 5.2 liters, 525 horsepower, 390 foot-pounds of torque, about a $60,000 premium over the V8 model. The A3 was shown with the new 2-liter uh, diesel motor. It has 140 horsepower and 236 foot-pounds of torque. It's going to be available only with the Flappy Paddle gearbox, and that will be out soon. Now, when you win the lottery or you get that big NBA or NFL contract, this Bentley might be of interest to you. It is the GTC convertible. Absolutely beautiful car from Bentley. A couple hundred thousand dollars and 200 miles an hour. BMW showed off their Z4. This is a new for 2010. Mild redesign, although completely new, with a couple different inline six motors. Still has that connotation of being a hairdresser's car or a chick car, but uh, it's a sharp car, and uh, I kind of like it. Now, Maserati. How can you not like it? This is definitely on the list of cars when I win the lottery or uh, get that venture capital, either the Gran Turismo or the new Quadraporte GTS. Mercedes showed off a number of cars here, including two concept cars, the Sterling Moss SLR concept, uh, pretty pretty sweet, pretty solid. I'm sure if it uh, goes into production, it's uh, close to a seven-figure car. Uh, just some some really neat styling, very very reminiscent of the 50s. Here's their uh, B-class concept car they showed off, and for an actual production car, they also brought out the new E-class, which will be available with uh, V6 and V8 models in the U.S. immediately, and a diesel motor in 2010. Mini showed off their new convertible. They uh, did a little splash through in some fake uh, ice walls. And they also brought the sh car they showed off at the LA Auto Show, and this is their all-electric plug-in car. And you can get one of those for about $850 a month if you apply for the right uh, lease concept. VW uh, brought this guy along as sort of their spokesperson. Apparently this display is so bright that it was lighting up about all of Kobo Arena. This is their Blue Sport, which is a TDI convertible. Pretty good reviews from this thing. Uh, some nice detail shots. Pretty solid interior on this car as well. Rear end treatment, pretty nice. Oh, I'm sorry, was there, a, was there a car in there somewhere? Finally, we'll wrap up with Volvo in their S60 concept car. This is a uh, out-of-the-park knockout from everyone who's been at the show. Beautifully designed, and everyone's hoping they don't screw it up by changing anything when they bring it into production. Ford has Volvo up for sale, but it's a little bit of a wonder why when they're going to bring thing, bring things out like this. Well, that's going to wrap up our coverage of day two of the North American International Auto Show. Hope you enjoyed it here on RumbleStrip.net. We'll be back again tomorrow to take a look at what the Japanese and the Korean car manufacturers brought to us here in Detroit. And then we'll also do day four. We'll call that a cleanup day. There's been some other concept cars that have been released, some other news that's come out, and uh, we'll get to it then. So, remember, here at RumbleStrip.net, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. We'll see you soon.